Hello guys and welcome back to another video for game development tutorials. Today we are continuing our space shooter series. Sorry that I did not upload last week, but it was Christmas, so yeah, that is my excuse. Christmas. Okay. So last time we added some audio. That is loud. That's some audio, some music, and blowing up. Yeah, so I want so there's like two things of audio that I want to add, uh, three button clicking and button selecting, and also opening up and closing the pause menu. So I'll just open BFXR. I'll just click here, search BFXR, then just press enter when that comes up. Or you can just go through all the trouble of opening your file explorer. And going through all of this, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, have fun with that if you are doing that. Yeah. Okay, so first I want some button select noise and button click noise. So maybe this one or this one. I don't really know what, what to expect, so. I think I actually like that one for the button select or click. So I'm just gonna press export to WAV. And then I'm just gonna save. It tells you where, where you want to save, but I'm just gonna save it to the desktop, so I'm just gonna delete it afterward anyway. So. Then I'm gonna search for one more sound for the selecting. I'm just actually gonna randomize it. Mm, I, I like that. Just press export to WAV and just save. I want one more sound effect and I'll be o opening and closing the pause menu. It'll have the same sound effect, so. Um, I think I'm just gonna stick with the randomize. That would be a good explosion, but I like ours better, so. Nope, not that one. Hmm. Just you, know, you can also use SFXR for this. Should have probably told you that in the last video. Uh, but I think BFXR is the updated version of it, so. It's a shooting sound effect. Or, or damage. Oh. I actually might use that one. Come back to 20. Yeah, I'm going to use 24, so I'm just going to select the sound that I want to use, and export to WAV. Then, just press save. And by the way, it's completely randomized, as the name infers random, so you will not get the same sound as me for the same number, so, yeah. I'm just close, I'm just going to close BFXR, because I do not need it anymore. And then, to actually import the sounds into Unity, I'm just going to open up my audio tab, then the SFX folder, the sound effects folder. I'm just gonna open my file explorer desktop or where you saved your sounds. And my three sounds are right here, so I'm just gonna shift click. So click the first one that you want to select. And then hold then hold down shift and press the last one that you want to select and that will select them all. And then you or you can just do it individually but this is a lot faster. And then you can just drag that into the SFX tab. 
And I'm just going to close that. Uh, if you are on Google, sorry, just doing that, uh, and you cannot do what I just did, then you can just go to the desktop and drag it into Unity and do it like that. But I already have that, so. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is our open shop. So I'm just say uh, pause menu. We should call it pause menu. This is our select. No, that is our button click. Button click. Then this last one is our button select. And just know you can preview sounds by just clicking on the sound they want to preview and press this play button. And to make it loop, you just have to press that, and it will do that. Loop forever. Yay. Fun. Okay, now let's actually get these sounds into the audio manager. So let's go to the game manager. So that is the, that is the game object that has a script on it. So then I'll just increase the size to 7 because we have 3 new sounds. And 4 plus 3. Ah, uh, I guess you can only do it up here. But sometimes you need does the math for you with the position. Like if you do one plus seven, it will just go to eight. So yeah. Uh, so I'm just gonna rename the second explosion. Um, button select. Going to set the volume to zero point four or something. Then drag in the button select audio. Then for the next explosion, I'll say I'll name it button click instead of explosion. Drag in button click and make the sound 0 0.5. So it's a little bit louder than the button click. Select. Maybe. Then I'm just gonna select the last explosion, open it up. And I'm gonna rename this to pause menu. I think that's actually a good volume, maybe 0 0.65. And then um, I'm just going to drag the pause menu audio clip into there, into the clip. And there we go. Now all, all, all you have to do is call the sounds. So first, let's do the pause menu sound. So I think that's in the game manager script, which is perfect. So we can just double click on the game manager script to open it up in Visual Studio. Okay, so this is where we open up the pause menu. So, I do not actually have to write it in here, I can just literally just write it right in here. Just create some room, and I'm going to say audio manager dot instance dot play pause menu. And, and also, remember you have to spell it exactly the way that you spelled it here, or else it will not work. You won't even get an error. So, yeah. So, if a sound is not working, I recommend that you check the spelling. And if that doesn't work, then check the code. That's probably the issue. Or volume, or, or pitch, or anything else. Okay, so now if we press play. Escape. There we go. Now if we press escape again. It's annoying. I think we'll change that later, but just not right now. And it's pretty easy to change sound, just open BFXR, grab another sound, and just drag it into the clip, and then it's changed. Okay, now for the button select. This is a little bit different, it's definitely trickier. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. So, we can just go into Audio Manager. I'm just going to make... A public void. I'm gonna call this button click. I'm gonna make one more public void. Public void button select. So when we click on a button, let's say audio manager dot instance dot play. Um 
button click then we hover over a button it will say audio manager dot instance dot play button select and just you know you want to actually get a reference to the audio manager like how we did up here with the player controller um, you want to get a, a reference to the audio manager if you're going to be using the sound a lot like how we did in the player shoot uh, because if we're using it a lot then it has to search for the audio manager every single time that, that we want to use the sound and that will make the game lag if you're using the sound a lot so that's why you get the reference if you're using the sound a lot right now the game will still not work if we hover over the buttons let's see what time we're at okay so i'll just go under the ui under the main canvas under the pause menu and i will just shift select these so i'll select the first one then i'll hold down shift and select the last one and there we go now i've selected all three okay so we have an on click i want to press this I, I want to scroll down to this button script and right here right under here there's a plus button i just want to press that and then i'll just drag in the game manager um actually no we want to select that so it's blue press minus we actually do not well, hold on. Since I did that, uh, we have to go back to the game manager, select the continue button for the continue, and restart button for the restart. But nope, game manager. Restart. Okay. So, I'm just going to do this one by one because sometimes it doesn't work with the shift click select all. So, I'm just going to press add component and we want event trigger. We want to add new event type, and this will be on pointer enter. I'm just going to press plus, drag in the game manager, hover over game manager, and I want button click because this is, shoot, is this pointer enter? I think it is. So if we want pointer enter, we want button select. Then I'm just going to press plus one more time. We want to go to Game Manager. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, we have to add a new event type. And then we have to do pointer click. I was confused there for a second. Then, to the button select, we want button click. Now, we have to do that for our, both of these, and that should be it. Add component, event trigger, add new event. Pointer enter, just gonna add one more. Pointer click, plus on both of those. Dragging the game manager for both of those slots. Hover over game manager, and we want button click. And then, oh no, we want a oh boy button select, and then we want button click. So the click event, quit button, it's the exact same thing, and, but this is the last time we have to do it. Select, winter click, plus, plus, game manager on both the slots, game manager, button select, game manager, button click. And there you go, it should be working now. So if we just press play, go into our pause menu. I think I'm also gonna change that sound later. But that's it for now. You can completely customize your sounds. Uh, yeah, you, you, you can do that on your own free time. Uh, but right now, this video is getting too long for my liking. So, that is it. I hope you have enjoyed. 
and see you in the next part. Bye.